Greetings everybody, my name is Tommy the Keyblade Master and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about an interesting rumor I saw yesterday. One that I almost fell for, I didn't jump on the bandwagon and start covering it because it was just a rumor and Nintendo has come out and debunked the rumor. But it does show something that behind every great hoax there's always an element of truth. Anyways, in this case, the rumor was that Nintendo was going to be discontinuing the Wii U pretty soon. In fact, they already had pretty much stopped the production of the Wii U consoles and some of its accessories for the NX to come out. Okay, so what was wrong with this rumor for me to call BS? Well, first off, the NX hasn't even been kind of publicly shown. They haven't had that yet. That probably won't happen till this E3. Now, I do believe rumors that the NX will be out at the end of this year. Nintendo really needs a new console because the Wii U is floundering. But the NX hasn't even been shown yet, number one. Number two, there's no guarantee that the NX will be any more successful than the Wii U. Why drop a console that's already out there, has already had all these expenses and stuff, paid for. Even if it's a flopping, Nintendo won't discontinue the Wii U until the NX at least has been out there for enough time to measure its success. That's just common sense. So, I didn't quite believe that to be true. It would be shocking. Now, if it happened, say, this time next year after the NX had been released, that Nintendo stopped production of the Wii U, especially if the NX becomes as big a hit as the original Wii, then yeah, I would believe the Wii U production would be going away just because Nintendo has another hit on their hands. No one's really buying the Wii U to begin with. And, you know, you might as well spend your money in those production lines keeping up with the NX's demand if that should happen. But at this point, I really don't see them discontinuing the Wii U. That said, the fact that so many people believe this hoax does tell me something, and that's just kind of how bad the Wii U is doing right now. I've already gone into my details why I think it does so bad. It's that expensive tablet controller that's, for the most part, unneeded. You see this? This is Twilight Princess footage. What does the Wii U controller really do as far as helps me in the game? Well, it gives me a button that automatically changes me into a wolf, and basically that's about it. I mean, I guess you could say an extra mini-map never hurts, but you know, I still wouldn't mind just flipping through menus and screens for that, because having to look down off the screen while action is going on is a bad idea to look at a mini-map. So, so far, it hasn't really been that helpful um, playing Twilight Princess, and because I haven't went out and bought one of their classic controllers for $50, the um, gamepad battery life is like three and a half hours, so I constantly have to watch that Make sure it's charged, or else I'm going to have to end one of my game sessions early just to go and charge the controller, and that's a pain in the butt. So you have that expensive controller, that has really killed the Wii U. And what's kept Nintendo going the last few years is the 3DS, and that has been a phenomenal portable console. A lot of people bash it in this era of um, smartphones, and the criticism is justified. Nintendo's going to have to find a way around that. But it has some phenomenal games. A Link Between Worlds is one I'm also playing right now, and it's really, really great. The only reason why I don't cover 3DS games on this channel is because I can't. <laughs> um, unless you go out and mod your 3DS, which is really expensive, like twice as much as it is for the 3DS itself, um, it's going to cost you money to mod it. You don't have a video output. But they have been getting along on the 3DS, but there's a risk that that's going to go away. The smartphones are more powerful technology, and people are going to be carrying them around everywhere. You know, anymore it's a necessity for most people to carry them around, because that's your cell phone. But, you know, you also have web browsers, apps for whatever job you're doing, and sort of all these other things. And not just gaming. You know, 3DS is looked as a toy. <laughs> and that's what it is. So, Nintendo is going to have to figure out what to do. As far as what I've heard on this NX, it has my 
curiosity peaked. What is true? What is not true? I can't wait for Nintendo's presentation at E3 to see just what it is, but I've heard a whole bunch of things. Like it's some sort of portable console all rolled into one, that it's going to be a little bit more powerful than the Xbox One, which may or may not be a good thing because the, we're getting PlayStation 4.5 and Xbox 1.5, I guess, which I'll just have to wait till E3 to see exactly what they're cooking up on that one. I can tell you this, if Microsoft and Sony start selling me new consoles halfway through a generation and they cost me as much as the original consoles does, that's even stupider idea than having a tablet controller. But anyways, yeah, this has turned out to be a prank. Nintendo's still going to be producing the Wii U. But, you know, they need to do a better job on the NX. Let's just hope that its specs are up to point that they can get enough support, software support, and get enough out there and enough people's attention to sell more consoles. The Wii U does deserve better than what it got. It has some great software on it. But it had a lousy marketing, a lousy name, and the fact that, like I said, so many people believed this rumor yesterday that they were ending production on it before the next console came out kind of just tells you the straits Nintendo is in. Right now they sold something like 13 million consoles in five years, which is kind of pathetic. And about a third of the time, I do believe Xbox and PS4 have probably tripled those numbers <laughs> on them. So Nintendo's got to figure out what to do. And right now they have no third-party support. They started out with a lot of great third-party support, I guess. And I say I guess because one of the things I kind of laughed at when I watched their um, press conference a few years ago right before the Wii U launched was all their third-party games were games I could get on my Xbox 360 at a budget price already. Why would I go out and buy a Wii U and spend $50 on a game and that? it was never really answered. So Nintendo's got its share of problems. We'll just have to see what happens. I can't wait for E3, but for right now, know that the Wii U is still going to be produced for the time being. Hopefully, there'll be some more sales for the Wii U's that they do produce. <laughs> Anyways, this is Tommy the Keyblade Master signing out on this rant. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below.